Hello everyone, welcome to this video on eigenvalues of a compact linear operator. So let's see the result of this theorem. The theorem here is for again for the compact linear operator and it states that whenever we have t as a compact linear operator which is defined on the normed space x to the same normed space, then they are saying if t has some non-zero spectral value then every non-zero spectral value of that compact linear operator t that must be an eigenvalue of t. So this is a result about the compact linear operator and it tells us that every non-zero spectral value of the compact linear operator is an eigenvalue of the operator t. So here we assume for the proof we assume that t is given to be the compact linear operator on the given norm space and we also assume that it has non-zero spectral values. Now what we wanted to prove we wanted to prove that these non-zero spectral values are the eigenvalues of t. So we'll prove the result using the method of contradiction as always as most of the time right okay. So here we assume that uh, if possible suppose that a non-zero spectral value of the given operator t is not an eigenvalue of t then in that case we have two cases the in the first case we say this resolvent operator does not exist for that particular value on for that particular non-zero lambda which is the non-zero spectral value of the given operator t right and uh, and in other case we say this operator exists right so let's see what happens when we have when we say that if the resolvent operator which is the inverse operator of the given operator t lambda if this does not exist then according to the definition for the point spectrum the this complex number lambda the spectral value that is lying in this point spectrum of the given operator t hence we would call this to be the eigenvalue of t because according to definition uh, all the members which are there in the point spectrum of the given operator t are the given eigenvalues now in the second case if r lambda that exist then what would happen then we have this result which says that if r lambda which is nothing but the inverse of this t that exists whenever we have tx is equal to 0 implying x is equal to 0. So that means in this case also uh, because r lambda which is the inverse of t lambda this thing is existing here therefore t lambda of x e equal to 0 that would imply x is equal to 0 according to this result right. If that is so if this is the case now t lambda x is equal to 0 implying x is equal to 0 that means what is this t lambda x if you see this t lambda x you can write t lambda as t minus lambda i right this thing so uh, what what would be t lambda of x so this would be t minus lambda i times of x so it would be t of x minus lambda of x this thing is equal to 0 if this is this thing equal to 0 implies x is equal to 0 that means x is equal to 0 is the solution of this equation so that is what we are saying it means that the operator equation which, which was nothing but tx minus lambda x is equal to 0 this equation would have the trivial solution x is equal to 0 and if that is the case by the uh, result that we have already studied about the operator equation 1 this equation 1 would have a solution if and only if the homogeneous equation has the trivial solution. So now in our case the homogeneous equation has the trivial solution x is equal to 0. Therefore the operator equation 1 is solvable for any given value of y. So that means we are saying the operator equation 1 tx minus lambda x is equal to y that is solvable for any given value of y here. right? So that means we can uh, write this in compact form so it could be written as t lambda of x is equal to y this equation is solvable for every value of y and moreover this r lambda that is defined on all values of the no given norm space capital x and moreover this operator that is uh, bounded also right if that is so this uh, lambda which was the given non-zero complex number this now becomes a regular value of the given operator t right so if that is so it comes in the resolvent set for the operator t 
but in the very starting we have assumed lambda to be the non zero spectral value of the given operator t this is what we have supposed non zero spectral value of the given operator t but now we have reached at a conclusion that this lambda belongs to the regular value of t so this is a contradiction to our assumption that uh, a given non zero spectral value does not have a uh, is not an eigen value of t that is not true hence we conclude that every non zero spectral value why every because whatever lambda that we have selected that was an arbitrary complex number so every non zero spectral value of the compact linear operator that is a eigen value of the given operator t so i hope you understood this very simple proof of the theorem well that is it for this video thank you for watching